here is the place where Monty and I come for a walk of a morning, afternoon or evening. And this is morning, such a still, beautiful morning with the sun trying to burn through the clouds. And we have this place all to ourselves today. This is just outside the village where I live and we've got the babbling brook here rather than the babbling stone magpie. There's Monty and sometimes he likes to dip his feet into this little stream going along here as he heads down. Look at that spring stream with those shining waters shining just like our diamonds do. Just hearing the water trickling by is so relaxing. Monty and I are heading down this path to the stile in the distance. There it is to cross over into the next lane and we're going to head up that path there to these trees, which I call one of them the bumble tree and I'll tell you why when we get there. So we've just come across the field, field of crops growing nicely for the farmer, over the stile, and now we're going to head up the path to the bumble tree. Here we are at the bumble tree. Now can you spot why I might call it the bumble tree? No? Well, if we Stay here a while and I zoom you in. Can you see there are lots of bees buzzing in and out of the trunk? Sometimes it feels like I've dropped into Winnie the Pooh with a tiddly tum, tiddly dee. <laughs> well, I haven't seen Piglet and I haven't seen Eeyore but I have seen a poo this morning. Oh, Monty. <laughs> Red kite in the sky. They swoop looking for breakfasts. So now we'll carry on up our path towards this beautiful spring blossom. You can hear a buzzy bee buzzing around me, I'm sure. <laughs> We've made it to the top of the hill. You can see in the distance the yellow flowers in the distance and the hills beyond. And we've made it to the spring blossom tree. So I'll leave you here, go home and start my spring stream diamond painting. Ah, we're back. We're back from our walk. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing a part of the countryside here in Yorkshire with me this morning. I am in the process of doing this section here, which is the top of the spring tree for the spring stream canvas by Dreamer Designs. I'm on to the hammer sign, which is this lovely sparkly, I would call it a bright tan colour. I'm not quite sure what the official name of it is, but you know, usually I don't agree with them anyway. <laughs> So it looks like these are little branches that peep out through the spring blossom there. And I can see here where I started the very edge of the tree and those ABs are just twinkling, twinkling so prettily. It didn't take long to get to the top of the tree. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so just placing these in one by one. How are you all? I hope that you've had a lovely Easter and got lots of your own diamond painting done over the holiday weekend. Or perhaps it's worked the opposite way for you where you've been so busy doing Easter activities that you've not had time for your diamond painting. And perhaps this is the first time that you've got back into it while listening to a whip and chat. Whichever way, 
let me know what you're working on. I always love to hear what's going on in everybody's home. <laughs> well, within reason. <laughs> oh dear, I mean diamond painting wise. Oh dear, yeah, don't be telling me anything else. <laughs> Um, I'm a one to talk, aren't I? I tell you about all sorts that go on in my life. So if you want to share, then feel free. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh dear, oh that's tickled me a little bit this morning. Oh dear, it. right, so let's have a little look. Should we stick with the branches for now and do perhaps the Z? Let's do these Zs. I have noticed as I'm working on this canvas that the colours are sometimes not quite what you would think, especially in the purples. So I'll point that out to, to you if I notice it as we go along. Because sometimes they're quite pinky rather than purpley. So I'm not quite sure why Dreamer Designs do that. But it's quite a nice surprise. So here we've got this, it, this is more of a brown than a tan, I would say, but a similar hue to it. And as you can see, we've got some dark branches right at the top here, which I did in my last session. I've had um, a little bit of time to diamond paint this Easter. Perhaps you saw my Easter unboxing as well. <laughs> I wanted to do a fun video for everybody and um, those cute little gnomes with their little rabbit ears on. So lovely. So I hope that you enjoyed that one as well. A little bit of silly for Easter. But the painting itself looks really good. I was pleased with it. And again, nice bright colours. So you may want to see that if you've not watched it. Catch it on my playlists. It's in the unboxing playlist. And I've also completed the Pokemon picture. Yeah! Oh no, don't tell me I've been doing the wrong symbol here. Oh, I have. Oh dear, I've done all the staples. I'll have to pull them all off and I'll be with you in a minute. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm sorry about that. I forgot which symbol I was doing and I did all the staples instead of the Zs. I'm glad I realized when I did and I bet you lot were screaming at your screen to tell me. Uh, I think that's the first time that's ever happened in a whip and chat. It doesn't happen to me very often either. So I'll blame the gnomes. <laughs> Those pesky gnomes tricked me. Let's say, let's say that. <laughs> Can't possibly be my fault. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we're back to where we were. And I'm doing the Z symbol. Oh dear, how often does that happen to you? At least it wasn't a big section either. Oh dear. It's a little bit soul destroying when that happens, isn't it? When you do a massive section and oh, anyway, let's move on from that. And um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I finished the Pokemon picture. Really happy with it. Um, so I've done a completion video on that. I'm waiting for the frame to arrive. So yeah, so pleased. I think Ben's gonna be thrilled when I give him it. He did see it um, when it was about three quarters completed, so he knows it's good. Now, because I've pulled some of these diamonds off the glue, some of them are a little bit sticky and sticking together, but we'll sort that out as we go along. Right, I think we'll do the staple symbol next. <laughs> I think so. Right, now... This is what I mean sometimes about 
the symbols because on the canvas it's quite a pale brown and when I look at the Tic Tac box it's a dark brown. The diamonds themselves are sort of a mid so that's three different colours for the one symbol and when I first saw that in a different symbol I did have to second guess myself and make sure it was the correct symbol that I was doing. Um, I've not come across that very much with other canvases but I don't know if it's a thing of Dreamer Designs because this is the first one I've done. So it does look slightly darker than what you would think the canvas indicates. Just slightly. The pinks I think are a bit more obvious which I'll show you, as I say, when we get to one of the pinks. So let's do the staples. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> well, you know, showing errors while I'm diamond painting and talking, it's a good thing because we all know it happens. We all have experience of that before. And so why hide it on a video? You know, I never profess to be a professional. Um, <laughs> probably a good job. I'm still learning along with the rest of you and trying out new things and ways of doing things, changing things up sometimes. And um, if I can show that on screen and it helps people out, then so be it. That's what I'm here for. So if you ever have any tips for me, please do feel free to share in the comments. I do keep my comments open so that you can share what your thoughts are, any ideas, etc. And it always helps everybody who is diamond painting. The diamond painting community, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Sharing ideas and um, helping each other out. Okay, next symbol is this square, and this is another one that threw me, because if you look at the symbol here, it looks like a dark khaki green with a square in the middle, and the symbol that I've got looks like a dark brown, and the square in the middle doesn't quite look the same to me, and it is a very dark brown, it's not a khaki. So... You'll probably also notice that I keep pushing my canvas up because this canvas is quite slippy on the table. Um, and so it slides down as I'm working. So I keep hoisting it up a little bit again. Um, I did wonder whether to put a tablecloth on just to try and anchor it a little bit, but the tablecloth slipped as well. So then I had two things going on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you notice me keep hoisting it back up, then that's the reason why. But it's a beautiful canvas and it actually feels nice. I think I said that in my last whip, actually. It feels good to work on. It is their cloud canvas, which is a polyester canvas. So it doesn't have that velveteen at the back. And that's probably what would hold it onto the table a bit better, perhaps. Right, where should we go next? Should we do these arrows and keep on with the branches here? Uh, so if this branch looks a little bit more orangey than the first colour that we used. And again, I'm using my multiplacer the way that I think the branches go. Um, okay, let's do these. Now this colour is like a bright peach and that's going to be the equals symbol on a slant, like a drunken equals. <laughs> Ooh, it's so bright. Ah, there, it's completing. 
some of the blossom, I think. I'm hoping that you can see my placements on camera. I've got it at a slightly different angle to try and help the view. But I do have to keep my hand fairly upright as I'm placing, so. Apologies if I sometimes obscure the view with my hand. I am testing out different angles. Um, I think with when I did the completion video for Evie, I did have it quite to the side. And um, when it's not face on as much, it's difficult to see the symbols. So I could say I am trying different angles to see what might work best. I've only got one camera, so I'm not that flash in having different um, <laughs> camera views going on during the same video, but it could be something that I look to. Not sure how complicated it would be to be diamond painting and changing cameras, etc. So we'll keep it simple for now. Right, what shall we do next? Choices, choices. I think, which way shall I do it? I normally, if you've seen my videos before, start with the symbol to the far right of the section I'm using and then complete the section. So should we do that and do the U? Let's go back to my old technique. So there's U. It's a very soft duck egg blue-green so pretty. You'll probably hear me say that quite a lot, I think, during this video because the colours really are pretty. Let's um, do some multi-placing in here. Again, I'll probably work horizontally and vertically. And we'll see how we get on with this section. Um, because I'm not rushing it, I want it to be really good. <laughs> And sometimes when I rush it, I feel like the placements get a little bit, um, you know, not perfect. I've decided, though, I was listening to um, a tarot reader and she is called Perfectly Imperfect. And I thought, oh, I love that. That's what made me um, watch her channel, Perfectly Imperfect. And I'm going to take that on board. <laughs> and be perfectly imperfect in every way. I think Mary Poppins is perfectly perfect in every way, isn't she? So um, I'm going to be the opposite of. <laughs> Practically perfect. Practically imperfect. Oh, I've got myself in some sort of train of thought. Right. <laughs> These diamonds, let's get back onto diamond painting. These diamonds are beautiful. They are so sparkly. It's quite a dull morning so far. Well, the sun's not quite, it's sort of clouded over since the walk, but hopefully you can see that sparkle there. Right, let's do, let's do these bright R's. Mm. Look, 
beautiful green. Now again, the canvas looks bright and the diamond's quite soft. I would call that quite a soft green. So again, not quite what I expected, but still pretty. Right, was that, was that the only R? Hmm. I thought there was more, but it was probably these sixes that caught my eye as well. We'll do the B symbol next. And it's here. Again, I've gone off my technique now, haven't I? Oh, now then. I wasn't expecting that colour. I was expecting a sagey green colour. Um, yes, I've gone off my technique again, haven't I, of going up and down. Perhaps this canvas doesn't um, tell me that in the same way that the Josephine Walls did. So I'll probably jump all over the place. <laughs> Not literally. I'll keep my bottom on the chair, but my um, diamond painting may well jump across the section. We'll have to do the sixes next, I think. This little spat of green here. And this is quite a limey green. I call it lime, but I, I bet it was some sort of avocado on the real namings. Okay. Looks like we've got quite a lot of pinks now. So let's do G. Ooh, pink. Ooh, pinky, pinky. Now, this is what I mean. If you look at the G symbol, it looks like a lilac colour, but it's definitely not in lilac, it's definitely pink. So it creates this little surprise as you're working on the canvas. I think that one's got to just take that one out. It's not quite right. Had a little bit of a tail on that one, so we'll change that out. So I hope it, that um, you can see what I mean by that. So I think this canvas is going to be quite different to what it looks like colour-wise as we move through. I like it. I think it's, I don't know, it just adds another dimension of excitement. <laughs> Look, oh, gorgeous. The trees, I think this year in the UK, the spring trees have been so good. I mean, we had a little bit of snow recently as well. And... Um, it didn't kill off my magnolia in the front garden and that has been the best it's ever been since we've lived here. Every time I look out of the window at the front, I'm just astonished by it. They're starting to come down now, the flowers, um, having to sweep them up quite a bit from the driveway. So it'll be sad when they all drop, but they have been, they've put on such a show this year. I may well put a photo on for you so that you can see. It's a white magnolia with, it's got like purple stripes at the bottom of each flower and they've opened up just like, a bit like a pond lily. Oh, incredible. And the spring blossom trees around, just beautiful. And well deserved after the winter that we've had. <laughs> That's the great thing about the seasons in the UK. You know, we come through. We look forward to winter, hunk hunkling down in front of the fire and mm, all of the nice winter meals that we have. You know, hot soups and hot pots and things like that. But then, you know, by the time... <laughs> It gets to about February, we start thinking about spring and really looking forward to that new 
that just newness, the freshness that spring brings. It's so lovely. That's probably why people think um, us Brits love the talking about the weather. <laughs> I think that is sort of a stereotypical comment about the Brits. Anyway, I don't mind if I'm a stereotype. <laughs> Especially doing a spring picture. I mean, you've got to talk about spring if you're doing a spring picture. And we're right in the blossom here. Glorious, glorious pink. What do you think as I'm sprinkling this through? It's a lot pinker than you would have thought it would be, isn't it? It's, oh, it's just, oh, it lifts the spirits. I think the sun is just starting to burn back through that cloud again now. So you may see a different light happening on the canvas because I'm in the conservatory with the big windows and it definitely makes a difference. Now I would say in the tray these pinks look quite like a bright baby pink and on the canvas they look softer. They look like a very pale baby pink and that can happen with the diamonds as we place them they can pick up colours from other ones around them especially with the AB colours and they take on just a slightly different tone I think I've caught all the G's there. Oh no, I've spotted one that hid away. There we are. Any others? I can always come back to it. You know, that's the thing, isn't it? I can always come back to any that we've missed. Let's do the little tack symbols next, which is Oh, now this is sort of, I'm going to describe it as a purple brown. It's, um, or would it be more of an aubergine? No, because I would say aubergines are brighter. Anyway, we'll do these splattering of tax symbols in amongst. So how many Easter eggs did you get? <laughs> or did you ask for diamond paintings instead of eggs for Easter? You know, a bit better for the waistline, but... Uh, <laughs> and probably would last a lot longer, to be fair. <laughs> I got one egg. And, um, yeah, I haven't finished it yet. I'm taking my time with it, eking out the pleasure... Um, and the egg that I got was quite hard to break into. I did um, have to bite the top of it, <laughs> just like on my Easter video when I was going... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, dear. Um, as I was going to bite the top of the egg just before the video started. <laughs> 
And I actually had to eat that egg in exactly that way. So I bit a big chunk off the top and then put the rest away. So I'll be having a little bit more with a cup of tea once I've finished this whip and chat. Um, I was going to put some in a bowl and have a cup of tea alongside you and decided not because it's chocolate and it's quite warm here. Um, I thought it's just going to end up being melty and I'll get it all over my fingers and create some sort of catastrophe. So I'm saving it for after. Okay, so that's the tax sign done. Shall we do these O's? They're shouting at me now. And I think they're an AB. Oh, it's this white AB colour. Oh, yes, let's get some ooh, ABs on the job. Ooh, look. It's just lovely. Right, we'll use this claw to place them. I did get a cone end in the Dreamer Designs kit, didn't I? Okay, bear with me a moment. I'm going to get it. Okay, here it is, the cone end. And a, a viewer very kindly suggested that I use this for the ABs. So let's try. Oh yes, it does pick them up very nicely. I wasn't sure because the cone end has quite a small amount of pink wax in the end. Can you see that there compared with the claw? I think there's slightly less in here. So I wasn't sure if it would pick them up that well, but you know, it does. Yep, I'm happy with that. Really good. So we'll stick with the cone end for this part. And even though they're squares, because like I say, sometimes with it being a tiny bit of pink wax, the rounds might work better but no, the squares are fabulous. So thank you to that viewer who left a comment and told me this. Very kind of you. And like I say, sharing ideas and tips. That's what it's all about so that we all can learn together. I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I really do mean that. I find it amazing to be able to share my passion and enjoyment of this craft with so many like-minded people. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do think about it. It would be appreciated. I will continue anyway, because subscriptions to me are a bonus. <laughs> I just want to talk about diamond painting and share it and share my canvases with people who also enjoy the craft. And I love to see and hear about your projects too. It's not just all about me. I just want it to be a bit like a community page. That's what I saw myself doing at the very beginning and I stick by that so please consider subscribing it is free and if you ding the bell you'll be notified when I upload a new video I try to do two a week I do have a job I do work full-time <laughs> so this for me is a hobby a passion as I say and um, if I could I would work at it full-time because I love it so much I would just climb and paint all day long every day but that's not possible so I try and get two videos done a week let's do the P sign next I am going to save this comb purely for the ABs so I'll move back to my normal diamond pen And the reason I say that is because I'm a little bit worried about it getting to be a bit <laughs> crumbly like my multiplacer is. 
Um, another viewer mentioned about me filing the end, which I think I'm going to have a go at at the end of this video. I'm going to pull the wax out and file it down and see if it helps. And um, thank you to Ditsy as well for letting me know where that multiplacer came from because I love that multiplacer. I use it all the time and it is a Diamond Art Club toolkit that that came with. And I couldn't remember which one it was because, you know, I've had quite a few kits. Um, and yeah, so Ditsy let me know, so thank you. Otherwise I'd have had to trawl back through all of my videos looking at the toolkit to try and work it out. And, um, you know, if the filing idea doesn't work, then I've got an excuse to buy another Diamond Art Club, haven't I? So it's a win-win. <laughs> yeah. I have seen a Diamond Art Club canvas that I really like, so... We'll see. Watch this space, as I say. I've only ever done one Diamond Art Club painting, which was the Lumina painting. So, yeah. I'm enjoying these Dreamer designs at the moment. And I also do the Zodiac Circle from Spell Queen. So I've got quite a few little bits and bobs going on all at the same time. But I think, because I did, in my last whipping chat, I did comment about whether I should start Elation as well from Dreamer Designs. And you know, most people said, why not? Why not just start to? And um, I think you're right. <laughs> We're going to do this simple next. I think you are absolutely right. Um, I think in my head, I was thinking because this is a spring picture, I wanted to get it done throughout spring. But why? Why, why put that pressure on myself um, and have to wait to start elation? So even if it takes me all year, to finish this picture for next spring. So what? You know. Um, so I am going to start elation too. <laughs> I didn't take a lot of convincing. <laughs> I really didn't. As soon as somebody put on, yes, I was like, yes, you're right. <laughs> so Thank you for convincing me, twisting my arm in a very, very gentle, quick way for me to agree. <laughs> so here we're adding, this is more of a lilac, like a pale, bright lilac. Now, so adding to the blossom in the tree. I think I've caught them all. Oh no, I've got two here. Very nearly escaped me, those two. Oh, and there's another one. Oh. Okay, I think that is definitely it. Let's do the arrows down. They're like triangle arrows. Let's do those next. Oh, da dee! It's the purple AB. Oh, well, I say purple, it's lilac, isn't it? Get it right. To get it right, we'll call it lilac. Oh, pretty, pretty. Oh, so many colours. So many colours in this AB. Back to the cone end using. Oh. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. Oh, I absolutely love it. Picked up two there. Did you see that little trick? <laughs> oh. 
I know I'm covering up a little bit of the section with my tray, but as I move down to the bottom of the section, you'll be able to see gone quiet because I'm just a little bit mesmerized with all of these colors. Mm. Mm. Twinkle, twinkle. really really hope that the camera is picking this up as fabulous as what I can see it here live because oh, I really hope it can. I'm just going to move my box away, my colours, just to see if you can get a little bit more light on here and see these ABs. What an amazing design. To be able to do a spring blossom tree in ABs, to make it stand out and be center of the show on a big picture that has a lot going on. I think um, at the end of this video, I will show you a far away view so that you can see if you haven't seen the full picture. Just, oh, honestly, takes my breath away this. Right, Whew. that is lovely. Okay, what shall we do next? I'm thinking of the dark purpley colour with the three dot symbol, this one. Um, sort of a dusty colour this one, like an antique purpley colour. And let's see the contrast when we add this in. Just going to pop these few in because I might well miss those if I don't do them now. And then I'll get on to the multi-placings. I think having this dusty, chalky colour next to the ABs just makes it stand out even more. Can you see what I mean there around here? Oh, missed one. Um, can you see what I mean? I don't know if it's the colourways or I think it's because they're chalky. Definitely, yeah, it's definitely because they're chalky that it makes the ABs zing even more. It's very clever. I 
Love that crunch sound when they go in as well. Because I like it when my diamonds sit really tight to one another. I'll go in and fill in in a minute. Sorry, I think I do a little <laughs> every time it goes, every time that sound happens. <laughs> Yes, so talking about elation as well, watch out for a kitting up video because that has got to be done with that kit. The colours are wowie. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to do that one. Exciting. I'm also going to do a kitting down video for the Pokemon picture that has been completed. I've not done a kitting down video. Um, for ages so I'm going to do one show you the storage that I use as well right I think that's it for that color I'm going to leave it here for today I'll show you a view of the whole canvas so you can see where we're up to so here is the whole canvas view I'm sorry for the reflections that you'll be getting from the protective layer but I can't pull it all the way back I have cut out this part of the layer here as I work on the section and I'll probably cut another strip as I go along the canvas. So this is what we've done so far and we've got all of this to enjoy. So let's have a closer look up of the bits that have been completed so far. So here it is with the sky, the treetops and the spring blossom tree. I really hope you can see that twinkling. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that you've, in, you've enjoyed seeing a little bit more of this spring stream canvas and I hope to see you again next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care. Bye.